Ah, Billy, this is more like it. I prefer being this side. Oh, is this, is this better for you? That is much, much better. I um, don't know if we had to actually switch chairs, though. Do you think that was too far? Well, I don't know. Um, just uh, want to talk to you, not so much about the film now, but more the kind of reaction to the film. Right, yeah. Uh, just how you, you found it and how and have you been surprised? I mean, when did you first know that the film was wasn't going to be a disaster. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? As opposed, <laughs> yeah. as opposed to not even being as good as it is, but just knowing that it's going to be okay. Uh, well, I was I was doing a play, uh, the Ballad of Crazy Power, when some of the guys, like Elijah and and, and Sean Aston and Vigo, live in Angeles anyway. Um, but I got a phone call from the producer saying they were they, they were going to show the film for cast in Los Angeles and did I want to go over and see it and I said well I'd love to but um, you know I was doing this play so I couldn't make it but uh, I knew that the guys were watching it say on this Friday evening so I thought well I, I must phone them up in the back of my mind I had, a, I had a funny idea they'd call me anyway you know and the next day my sister called and said guess who I got a call from at three in the morning because uh, while I was off doing this tour, my, my sister was looking after my house here. And uh, I thought, yeah, yeah, the guys phoned up. So they'd phoned up mm-hmm. kind of after seeing the movie. And it uh, felt really bad about getting my sister out of her bed, you know. But um, but it was good because it was almost a, a, a relief, you know. Like, unlike doing theatre, you kind of, you, you know what the finished product's going to be because you're there at the moment of it, of it being made. And no matter how much you trust the director, and, and I think everybody knows our feelings about Pete Jackson, he's mm. just an incredible filmmaker mm. and, a, and a wonderful man, but you still don't know how it's all going to edit, edit together, or even though there's some scenes that you felt, yeah, that went well, you don't know how it's actually going to be on the screen. So it was good to hear from the guys who I all trust, and when they said that, yeah, it's a, a good movie. So that's when I first heard about it. Right. Yeah. And when did you... When was your first time seeing it? About two weeks after that, um, I was over in New York and a print of the movie was was over there at that time. And I was there with um, my management and and we went along to see it along with uh, Elijah came again and some of his friends and Liv and Sean Bean who hadn't Mm -hmm. seen it yet either. So... Myself and Sean were sitting together waiting to see this kind of, you know, thing that we hadn't seen. And luckily it was in a really nice uh, theatre, quite a small screen, but um, great sound and uh, it was a good place to see it. And it, and it felt good. Even with that small mm-hmm. crowd, it felt really good. And then the next thing that I wanted to see was see it with an audience, you mm-hmm. know, which I didn't get the chance to do until the premiere in mm-hmm. London. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, I mean, it, it, I mean, I think, I, in fact, I know that I speak for everybody on, on the site uh, to say congratulations and well done oh, to you, you and to everybody because yeah. it is a, it's a phenomenal movie. I mean, it's just it blew me away as we've already talked about yeah. this, and as I've bored you many times. <laughs> uh, but I mean, is that the action of being? Such a good film. I mean, obviously, so it was a relief to know that the thing you were in, uh, involved in is great, but the reaction to it from people like the audience, uh-huh. I mean, are you surprised at the reaction? Or are you? I think, yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to be a good movie because of the feeling on set that uh, I felt that as it, the, the trust I had for Pete, uh, as I've already mentioned, along with the the kind of passion that everyone had to make this movie. I thought if that comes across on the screen, it's like um, it's like doing a play where if everyone really wants to do it, it, it doesn't matter too much that there's that there's not a lot of money in that play or whatever, mm. that, because there'll be a great feeling coming from the stage. And I was hoping that that feeling, w- w- you know, go onto the screen. And I feel like it does, and, and a lot of people have mentioned the the feeling of fellowship within the, within the movie, which I was so glad that that came across. And when people mentioned that, you know, they uh, they they laughed or they cried, then that's great because you feel like people 
believe the characters, you know? Because I think the comedy in the movie comes... It, it's character comedy, it's not... It's not set gags that anyone could have played. The, the comedy, the laughs come from understanding the characters. Mm. And, uh, and I believe that for the kind of emotional scenes as well, you know, like um, Sean Astin at the end. The reason that is so emotional is you, you've got to know Sam and, and you, you feel for him. And I, I think it's great when people come and, and have that sort of comment that um, they felt for the characters. Well, I mean, that, that just, for me, that, I mean, after, and again, after talking to people on the site and uh, my two friends in the world, uh, they, um, <laughs> they uh, <laughs> I mean, the Mines of Moria, after the Mines of Moria, uh-huh. wait, is just one of the best scenes ever from an emotional thing because you've had all not just the comedy but the, the building the fellowship and everything else yeah. and your your face is just fantastic elijah obviously with the tears fantastic but just the kind of relief after that scene and that's an, a character driven emotion as yeah. opposed to something terrible's happened well you, you can see it and it's fantastic and that's that's what grabbed me as i said to Mr. Jackson, to my eternal shame, uh, grab me by the head, the heart and the balls. Yeah. You know, I mean, that that's that got me there and I went, that's fantastic. I'm in with these guys now for the next two films. See, Give I've, it to yeah. me now. Well, that's great. Then that, and that's the kind of... That's what I love to hear. I love um, that, that people have uh, um, given themselves to the characters, you know. Mm. It's, it's just, yeah, it, it feels good and it... It, it, there is a feeling of relief that um, you know people enjoy this movie because it didn't just come from someone's imagination just now. You know, it, it came from uh, Professor Tolkien's um, all that time ago. So there's people who love this story and love those characters. So there is a, a slight feeling of you know you don't want to do it wrong, and it, it just it, it does feel good that uh, people have enjoyed it. No, it's. Fantastic. And again, Billy, on behalf of everybody in Billy Boyd, don't, don't, Billy, don't. I can't even say it. I'm on it so much, I can't even say it. Just, but on behalf of everybody on Billy Boyd, don't, uh, thank you uh, for the movie and uh, thank you again for your time for the interview. Hey, and, and thanks to everyone on the, the site. Um, yeah, thanks for all your support.